I hope all of you are doing well. I am Asma Ahmad. I am student at I am student Spada at UC University Science Islam Malaysia Negeri Sembilan. Today I would like to share about my experience interview with a drug addict at one of the drug rehabilitation at Malaysia. His name is Pondo Romaji Inabah, Kuala Nerang, Kedah. Okay, I will explain about my client demography. My client's name, not a real name, is a Muhammad Maidi. He is 27 years old. He came from Penang. He is a Malay and Muslim. Okay, he is not married yet. He studying until a uh, private college at Penang but not finished yet because he was involved to drug addict. I divide my client factors that cause drug addiction to the first factor. Okay, through my interview, I got the first factor why he is involved to the drug Become, uh, became drug addict is the lack of religion practice. Okay, this is a uh, number one. I got uh, the first factor I got from my interview with my client. The second factor is he was uh, he he get uh, he got a psychological problem history since he's still young. Uh, around 16 years old okay the third factor so, uh, why he is uh, he's involved to drug addict is he lack of his self esteem uh, with his peer influence too okay the fourth factor is about on himself factors okay guys I will explain uh, another my interview in my slides. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I will continue my explanation with my slideshow. Okay, next. Uh, this is my lecture pictures of my dear Dr. Muhammad Hari Mahyuddin. This is my picture with my client during interview, but I blur my client face. This is about his demography. This is about the main. Okay. Now I will explain about lack of region practice. Uh, okay, through my interview, I got. The lack of religion practice is the most factor why my client involved to drug addiction. Muhammad Majin is not a real name, was not practice of law commons, not practice what Islam said, such as he does not pray, he does not perform uh, fasting during month, uh, Ramadan months. And he, he didn't research Al Quran and so on. Very sadly, he was clubbing. He was clubbing with his uncle, was joined together with him. His uncle not advise him, but joined together with him. In Muhammad Madin case, his, the parent provided everything, but he is disobedient his parents. In my opinion, his parents should find the best solution and give the good treatment because Muhammad Maidin are involved in drug status when secondary school. Uh, while he was 16 years old, his parents know about his drug addiction problem. Okay. Why objective in children education is very important in Islam? Allah says in the Quran, O believers, guard yourself and your kindred against the fire, whose pool is human being, as stones, the fire had in the charge of his, and 
because who never disobey what he has commanded and always do what they are to do. Surah Al-Jahrim Ayat 6 The second factor that caused drug addiction my client is psychological factors. He was emotionally disturbed. He got grief when he lost his grandfather on 16 years old. He feel his grandfather only love him. He feel uh, his father very busy and not loving him. So when his grandfather passed away, he's very upset and grief. To release his stress, to release his grief, he went to the secret private clinic and doctor gave his uh, pill. But after two years, doctor stopped it to avoid him from dependence on medication. Okay, the third factor is the lack of self-esteem and less of self-discipline, such as peer influence in his lifestyle, in his uh, soul, due to curiosity by looking, looking their friend, his friend, but his a uh, close friend influence him to take drugs. Lack of moral compass, lack of the ability to make clear judgment in determining what is good and bad thing. This is the factor why my client involved to drug addiction. The environment is very important to educate our cho our children. Environment is very important to make our family become safe. Allah says in our Quran means and Allah brought you out of the wombs of your mothers while you knew nothing and gave you hearing, sight and intellect so perhaps you would be thankful. Surah Allah. So uh, very sad if we not became a great uh, thankful uh, human being okay the fourth factors that cause drug addiction to my client is lack of self-discipline the effect of the less of self-discipline became lack of moral compass to make judgment between the good and the bad things Lack of moral compass to a, a good education is nothing without a strong moral values. Perhaps both are need to create great human beings. Instilling moral values such as gratefulness and privacy one's good name is an essential part of morally watching members of society. Unfortunately, we are now so distracted with material wealth and luxury that we have forgotten the importance of such values. Discussion and analyze. My client, the client, my client came from a family that practiced Islam, but his family did not perform prayer. This is caused from lacking in self-esteem and spiritually, spirituality. Client easily to be influenced of peers and become eager to want it more after try it once. Client take a drug due to his grieving towards his late grandfather. He experienced sadness, grieving and felt loss after his grandfather passed away. Client started with calf medicine and alcohol when 16 years old. This saw he received no guidance from his relative. Due to his addiction in alcohol, it disturbed his cognitive and function behavior. This is according to the verse our Quran, the verses of our Quran in Surah Al-Ma'idah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, means 
oil will be lived, strong dreams and games of chance and of chance and idols and divining of arrows are only an infamy of Satan's in the world. Leave it aside in order that ye may, may, may succeed. Satan seeks only to cast among you enmity and hatred by means to strong dream and game of chance and turn you from remembrance of Allah and from his worship. Worship. Sure, will ye not then exchange? Al Quran, verse 90 to 90. Okay. In my conclusion, spirit from spiritual aspect, lack of practice in prayer and addict to alcohol. This is a the main factor why uh, my client became to try addict. After the lack of practice in prayer and addict to alcohol, the client and his family did not practice Islam as academic. His spiritual level might be the effect of using drug and alcohol. The lesson learned in Inaba can help him upgrade his spiritual and his recovery. My client happy and very grateful when his father and his mother uh, submit him to pondok in remaja Inaba satu Malaysia. My client happy. He got to know what Muslim did, must did. Why Muslim must obey Allah? Why uh, Muslim must be the best Muslim? He happy and very grateful when he entered the Inaba. Client hope to recover his illness after practice. Participate with treatment and regain his spirituality in Inaba. Okay, I will uh, continue my video after this uh, has a uh, different to all of us. Thank you. Dia nak ikut siapa? Dia nak ikut dia, 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 dia
Ada ikut satu hati dah koplah, koplah dia. Dia tak sabar lah. Iman main peranan. Iman tu hakim yang menentukan. Sebab tu bila hilang iman, hilanglah pedoman, berlakulah kejijaman, kezaliman, menggugat ketenteraman. Saya sanggup dia macam belajar lu. Kepada saya sanggup tu dia tak dapat bisnes saya boleh ada tak duit untuk beli barang-barang untuk bini. Naru macam tu lah. Mula-mula dia beli free.